Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to create a standard text in SAP using the transaction SO10. We will then convert this subscript text module so that we can send it in an email as HTML or text. So let's open the transaction SO10. And here we create a new uh, standard text. I type here set test text. Click on create and here normally a uh, word opens, but I change, I go back to the old editor to the line based editor. And now let's uh, insert here some HTML text. For example, first line with an heading one, then I type here, welcome to my channel, custom code in zap -abab. and I will write this in bold. And last, a second heading, custom code in SAP ABAP. So now we have HTML text here. We click on save and we go back to our editor. So I've already created a program here and we start with uh, declaring some variables. So we start with LVID of type T head TDID, then the language, next the name of the standard text, and last the object, LV object of type T head T object. Then we need an internal table because our return is a table with single lines of text. And this is of type, type table of T line. We see here one line, second line, third line, and so on. And this is our response. So now I pass these uh, values to the variables. First, the ID is ST for standard text, the language is E for English, English, LV name is set test text, and the object is text. If you don't know the object name, name you can go here to the menu. Uh, no, first we have to display this text, and then we click on go to and header, and here we see the text object. In our case, it's text. So we pass here the string text. We activate the code and then we call the function read text. We see here some exporting and tables. We pass here the, the necessary parameters like ID, language name and object. So we copy our variables to this uh, function module. The tables, the lines is our internal table IT lines. So in this internal table is the result. So we set here on breakpoint and we run the program. Then we do a, a double click on the internal table IT lines, we see here we have three records. So the format column and the TD line column and the TD line column with our text. So the reading is okay. And next we will uh, convert this uh, table to an um, string value. So I declare a string variable here called LV HTML string of type string. And then we do a, a simple loop. We loop at IT lines into LS lines. And then I add every value from my um, column TD line to the value string. So I declare here the structure LS line of type T line. 
and here in every loop I add the values of my different lines. So I show this in the ABAP debugger then. And then let's, out, uh, let's display the HTML string with the method display underscore HTML. So let's activate and run the code. Then we scroll down to this loop. We set a breakpoint here, press F8, then double click on the variable lvhtml string and to the ls line td line. So we see every line will be added to the string, html string variable. We see this here. If I press F5 again, another line is added to this string variable. And after that, we can display this html here. And we see the html with the right format like heading, bold, and another heading. So that works pretty well. Next, um, I show you another uh, function module called uh, select text. And with this function module, we can search for texts in the table. So you can pass here the necessary variables and you can use uh, wildcards as well. And the result of this is in the selections table. So let's pass here the name or no, because on my test system, I have only one text with this name. So let's pass here the object text and the other parameters are wildcard and then we need a declaration for the result for the selections and this is it headers type table of t head and i copy this it headers here to the selection then we set here in breakpoint and we run the program so to, to check if we have a result yes we see here the it headers is filled with 1900 um, texts we see here the object, the different name, different ID and different language. So you can check before you display or before you use a text, you can check if the text exists or you can do a fallback to another language, for example, and so on. Okay, so next I change my text and I change the I, I delete the closing HTML tags. And next I show you a function module called convert ITF to ASCII. And with this function, you can convert the, the subscript text to an ASCII text, to an ASCII table. So I use here the code page 4110 for UTF-8. And now I declare an ASCII table, IT ASCII type TDTAP C132. And this internal table I pass here to the C data tab. Here my IT lines is my subscript table. And then I write serial demo output display. And here I pass one of the one line of my ASCII table. I pick the second one. And the second one is welcome to my channel, custom code in sub ABAP. Okay, so pretty brand activate set uh, activate. Then we set here in breakpoint and we run the program. So again, F8. Then let's check the ASCII table, double click IT ASCII. And we see here the, the text without the HTML tags. To compare this, I click on the 
internal table IT lines. Double click here. This is the text from the subscript. And this is the text, the converted text. So F8 and we see here the text without any HTML text and without any HTML uh, conversion. So now I set the closing text back to my text, for example, slash h1 slash h2 and so on. I save this again and now we run the program again. And the problem here is if we have this closing text, the, the, these are visible here after the conversion to ASCII. So we see if you display this with normal display method, you see the closing text. Um, so for this, for this, you have to uh, uh, ignore or delete this manually, or you can use the method display HTML. Then the closing tag will be ignored because the HTML is not valid. So we see here, if we try this, no formatting and no closing tag. Yes. So now that was, that was an example, how to use or how to convert the SO and texts to uh, HTML text or other text which you can use in uh, for email sending for example mm, yes so if you like my videos subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up I'm always happy to get a few likes also write something in the comments I always like to read them and I also reply to them if I have time so take care and see you in the next video